should I get a Volvo EX30 or should I get another electric car? This is what we are going to discuss and explore in today's video. And like earlier purchases here on the channel, you guys are going to help me decide what my next electric car is going to be. That is correct, guys. Soon we're going to have changes here on the channel. I'm going to get a new electric car and that means my Porsche Taycan will be sold. So all of that we're going to dive deep into in today's video. About 18 months ago, I took delivery of my Porsche Taycan 4 Cross Turismo, my first Porsche and one of my absolute dream cars that you guys helped me decide to purchase here on the channel. More than two years ago, I made a video letting you guys help me decide what car and the Porsche Taycan for Cross Turismo got the most votes so that's a car I'm like yeah I'm gonna get this people are gonna like the content and the videos on that car have done fairly well to not very good and I think you know in the past few years I've owned this car and this car has been on the market the interest for expensive electric cars because of the current you know global situation with inflation with with prices of electric cars going up and people have less money to spend on expensive cars it's kind of become less relevant and i want to you know stay more in tune with you guys i want to make content and you know buy and purchase and use and make content on the electric cars you guys find the most interesting and i think it's demotivating for me to make content on the Porsche, which I do love to death uh, because it doesn't always get a lot of views. So, yeah, I think it's time for the Porsche Taycan for Cross Turismo to go sometime in the next six months because selling it may be a little bit difficult in Norway with a lot of Taycans for sale and also getting a new electric car that you guys are going to help me find out which may also be a little bit difficult in less than six months and that brings us to the title of today's video should i get a volvo ex30 volvo smallest newest stylish electric car that's priced between 35 and 55 thousand euros that looks cool inside and out high quality good range amazing performance and also quite practical considering the size those small back seats the videos I've done on this car, the launch I went to in Italy, the videos before the car came out talking about this car has gotten a lot of views here on the channel. So you guys seem to like it. And at the end of the day, if you guys watch the videos, it motivates me more to make more content. And it also helps to pay the bills because at the end of the day, this is my job. This is what I do. And the more views you guys have on a video, the easier it is for me to make a living and to sleep at night. You know, sometimes it's harder than others when I get a lot of views, when I have good months. I sleep tight, but when the views are down, yeah, it, it, it's harder. So, you know, making car content and driving cars and buying cars that you guys like is essential for the, the channel. And, I, you know, I do this for you guys because, well, without you, I wouldn't be here behind the camera so the only problem with the ex30 is that on the configurator on the website it says six to eight months delivery i want a car you know before six months sometime between two and six months from now so maybe this is hard to get but maybe we'll wait a little maybe i can you know rent other cars maybe you can do other cars with other you know brands or or dealerships and we're going to talk about that so We'll put the EX30 to the side, but let me know in the comment section down below. Thumbs up, thumbs down, or is there any other electric car you guys want me to check out? But keen viewers may be thinking, hey Chris, don't you have an EX90 on order that you're going to take delivery of in Q2 2024 according to your contract? Well, according to my contract that's just off camera here, yes, but that car is delayed at least six months. So I think realistically... I'm going to take delivery of that within 12 to 18 months and i think we're closer to 18 months so this doesn't you know deter from this plan i need a car now within six months so the ex90 is too far away for that with ex30 being six to eight months out and ex90 being 12 to 18 months out what are the actual realistic alternatives i can get my hands on within a few months before we dive into that i just want to give a huge thanks to today's video sponsor Recharge, the largest charge point operator in the Nordics, Norway, Sweden and Finland with more than 4,000 charging points across all of these countries. And if you want to support the channel, if you want to support me, if you want to support Recharge and you want to see the content we're trying to make here, 
please go ahead and go to the link in the description box down below and find out where your closest recharge charger is. Thank you very much. So I've narrowed it down to two, maybe three alternatives that I think you guys are going to enjoy, that you guys are going to like, that is going to be cool for me to make content on, and maybe most importantly, that you guys are actually going to watch and interact with. We're all going to be enthusiastic about two, maybe three alternatives, and I have some really cool and big plans for one of these cars in the next month. So first alternative is Volvo C40 or XC40 Model Year 2024, four-wheel drive or rear-wheel drive. One of these versions, this car or these two cars are updated now with bigger battery packs, better efficiency, and yeah, more range, better overall. And Volvo, well, this is what I started the channel on here. Volvo XC40s and C40s do get decent views here on the channel. So I do think you guys are going to like that. Let me know down below. Second alternative, maybe people are going to like even more. And that is the facelifted version of the Polestar 2 that just came to market. Again, rear wheel drive version and two battery pack configurations or all wheel drive. Even a performance version could be, you know, an alternative here. And this also like the XC40 and C40 upgraded battery packs, bigger battery packs, better efficiency, and just a better car overall. So out of those two, which car would you guys like me the most to get my hands on? So I can go out and purchase one. Maybe I can rent one from, you know, an independent um, company who does, you know, short-term or long-term rent, or I could try to do something with the brands. Maybe that's an alternative, but since these two cars are brand new, that may be harder and I think it's harder with the Polestar 2 than it is with the Volvo C40 XC40. Then we have a third alternative which is a little bit off center and that is the Kia EV6. Also a car that's got a lot of use here on the channel that you guys seem to like. This is also, not, it's not new but it has great efficiency, rear wheel drive or all wheel drive and also it looks great, it drives great, I really do like this car. What's not great is the infotainment system and route planning and because of what I plan on doing with these cars, I kind of want that to be top notch. So that's why the Polestar is number one, Volvo is number two and this is maybe number three on my list of cars I want to make content on. So let me know in the comment section down below but I think the Kia is the easiest car to, to, to get my hands on for maybe two to six months, either alone from one of the brands or a rent, whatever, you know, works the best. Before I tell you guys one of my biggest plans with one of these cars, let me know if there's any other electric car you would rather see me purchase, make content on long term here on the channel. These are the three obvious choices I found looking at what you guys watch the most but I'm open for suggestions. So one of the biggest things I want to do and this is the first time I'm talking about it on camera is do a large, a big, an epic road trip from Norway down to Africa, North Africa, Oslo to Casablanca, Norway to the Sahara Desert, Norway to Africa, something that you know nobody really has done before and a big trip that we can try to you know, have new challenges that we haven't experienced before. And also if I do it next month, it's starting to get cold here in Oslo. So we're gonna start with quite cold temperatures as we move down through Europe, it's gonna get warmer and warmer. And then we come to Africa around the equator. It's gonna be much, much warmer. That's gonna give us, you know, a new unique perspective, unique challenges. Maybe we're gonna see the consumption go from very low to very high, cars with heat pumps, not, not heat pumps versus, you know. So all of this, this is the biggest trip I, I want to do and realistically I think to do this this year with a Kia is the most realistic, least realistic with a Polestar because they basically don't have a car for me until early next year but you know early next year maybe January, February will also work. So if I'm not going to do my Africa trip now, what trip would you guys love to see? Maybe I could drive from Oslo to Turkey, maybe I could drive somewhere I don't know, all the way to Asia, over to Turkey, Asian part. Maybe we can go a little bit into Asia. I don't know, maybe I want to go somewhere to Eastern Europe, somewhere I've never been before. Maybe I want to go to the UK. I'm open for suggestions. Let me know in the comment section down below. But I want to do an epic road trip sometime this year before Christmas. So there we go, guys. Sometime in the next six months, the Taycan Cross Turismo is going, going to be replaced with something 
well, more relevant for people watching the channel here, I, I hope at least, and help me decide what car to get, you know? This is something we're gonna make a decision on together and form the content together. And also let me know where you guys want me to travel on a big, long, epic road trip with an electric car with. But since I'm getting rid of the Porsche, I want another Porsche because having owned a Porsche, yeah, kind of special, but I want to get an internal combustion engine Porsche to have fun with on the weekend and maybe start a second non-EV channel. I don't know. Let me know if you find that interesting. So guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please drop me a thumbs up down below. And for more car content, as always, please subscribe. See you guys later. Goodbye.